Hello YouTube, Goddard Radio Moscow here again with another beer review for you as is usual. For this one we're going to continue on with my series of Australian beer reviews but this time we're going to venture to the state of South Australia. So this is my first non-Victorian beer review that I'm doing for you since I've arrived in Australia. So for this one we're going to go to the little town of Wulunga in South Australia and visit the McLaren Vale Beer Company and this one is called Vale Ale and it's described as an Australian Pale Ale and it's a style that I quite like. I've tried a few English brewed Australian Pale Ales and I really like these so I'm interested to see what the actual Australian Australian Pale Ale is like if that makes sense. So as is usual with my reviews then I'll take you through a very brief history of the brewery, tell you a little bit about where the beer comes from and all of that sort of thing. If you want to simply see the tasting just fast forward a few minutes into the video and you'll get right there. The brewery website's in the video description for you below along with a link to my other reviews that I'll hopefully do from the McLaren Vale Beer Company in the future. So anyway, this company was founded in 2008 by a few craft beer loving friends from Adelaide in South Australia. Obviously that's the capital city of the state. But they were great fans of the region's local produce and they spent many family holidays in the McLaren Vale region. And this region of course is very famous for its wine production and the friends decided that a beer producer could add another dynamic to the kind of region's output if you like, the sort of culinary and uh, gastronomy output or something like that I guess you could describe it. But they produced their first beer which was the Vale Ale, this guy here, and now they have a core range of four different beers and they do also produce Dr Pilkington Cider which is quite widely drunk throughout Australia I'm told. But the brewery is based in the historic town of Wulunga in McLaren Vale and most of the employees are actually South Australian so you're getting a really kind of genuine South Australian product here but the company remains independently owned and they manage their own distribution as well so it's quite a, it's really quite an innovative and quite interesting company and it's one thing the Australians really do take pride in out here is kind of local produce and um, the locality of their beers and wines and things like that. It's, it's a really quite interesting take they have out here on different things but um, that's a kind of brief outlook of the company if you like. There's not too much information available on the website about the actual owners and things like that um, but quite an interesting company nonetheless and maybe if I send them this review they'll send me more information for my next one. But anyway let's get on to the tasting of this beer itself. It's a 4.5% Australian Pale Ale as I mentioned to you before and it's hopped with Amarillo and Cascade hops and as a malt base of Crystal Malt. So let me just bring up the camera and let you have a little quick look at the artwork on this one. It's quite nice actually, kind of ultra modern. I've heard that the pale ale that these guys do is really, really good. But this one obviously is a bit different. This is an Australian pale. You can see it has these kind of quite cool um, circular, I don't know how you would describe it, these kind of circular bumps in the, the pattern on the, on the bottle art. It's actually really, really cool. And you can see they've got the white one. This kind of upside down triangle is the sort of symbol of the brewery. You can see this is on the bottle cap as well. But it says on the back a little bit about the veil ale. It says Vale Ale is an award winning Australian pale ale crafted with a refreshing balance of malt, hops and yeast. This full flu fruity, cloudy and hoppy ale leaves a fresh crisp finish and is very sessionable for maximum enjoyment. Roll before opening and serve in a large glass. So we'll just give it a little bit of a roll like that as it says. Just roll it around and uh, hopefully it's good to go. It's got Jeff Wright who is the head brewer, it's got his signature on the back as well as well as the address of the brewery in Wulunga, South Australia. So let's get this guy open then and get on with the tasting. Where's my bottle opener? There we are. So here we are. And I think this is my first South Australian beer review since I've done some of the more mass produced beers in Australia. I think I'm trying to remember what ones I've done actually. I think it was a uh, Crown Lager I did that was produced in South Australia, but I'm really not certain about that. And as you can see, it actually pours. It looks very like a lager beer, actually, this one. It's got that typical... I need to clean that up in a little bit, but it's not such a big deal. But there we are. As you can see, it pours a kind of nice, uh, kind of deep golden colour. It's crystal clear. If I put my fingers behind it, you can see right the way through there, there's about a finger and a half of a frothy white head and a lot of carbonation kind of going up towards the bottom of the head there. It's, it's a really kind of quite attractive looking beer there, very, very nice looking. So let's give it a smell and see how we get on here. It's got a very mild aroma actually. It does kind of remind me a little bit 
of a kind of of a of a lager beer in that sense. It's got you're getting the kind of typical grainy and uh, kind of you know the kind of grainy malt base that you would expect from a lager beer. A little bit of bread character coming out. It has a little bit of a kind of buttery feel to it as well, a little bit of a buttery aroma, but there's some grassy hops and a little bit of citrus in there too. So it does have a little bit of an interesting element to it, but in honesty, it actually does smell kind of quite like a mass-produced beer. It doesn't have quite the the uh, the aroma profile that you would expect from a proper craft beer. It smells more like a mass-produced beer. But let's give it a taste and see how we get on here. It's quite well carbonated actually, but it's again it's quite a mild flavour you're getting out of this one. It it, it seems to be like it's a, a it almost seems like it's a mass produced beer. It comes off as kind of quite a it comes off as more of a lager rather than an Australian pale ale. The Australian pale ales I've had are very fruity, and this one doesn't seem to be that at all. Yeah. I mean, you've got a little bit of bready character in there, but a good bit of cereal with it as well. And that's typical of a kind of mass-produced lager. You've got a kind of mild hoppy bit on the end as well, which is, you know, you've got a bit of spice character in there. Some grassy hops and maybe a, a little bit of citrus. But there's a good bit of earthy character coming out of the hops too. It doesn't, in terms of a, a paleo or an Australian paleo, I've kind of associate, I would associate an Australian pale ale as being kind of quite a, a sort of fruity flavour, almost kind of similar to the American pale ale. That's how the, the, the ones I've come across before have been have been like that. And if this Australian pale ale comes across maybe more of a more as an English pale ale rather than anything else. So it's it's a bit unusual in that sense, but it's a very mild flavour, which is not really what you expect from a craft beer in my opinion. Yeah, you've got a big bit of kind of bready, sort of a grainy bready character that sits in the middle of the mouth in this one. Maybe just a little kind of hint of uh, of biscuit sweetness in there, just sitting in the middle of the tongue. But overall, it's a big bready and sort of cereal base that's on this one. There's maybe a little bit of spice mixed in with that as well, a sort of yeasty spice character. But it's the hop character in this one is very mild too. I mean, you've got a little bit of grassy character. A little bit of citrus coming out too, and maybe some kind of herbal, sort of earthy element to it. But overall, it's a very, very mild flavour, and it's not really what you would expect of a craft ale, never uh, or a craft beer, never mind a pale ale. So, it, it, in honesty, this one's a little bit kind of disappointing, I would say. But I've heard the IPA from these guys is the best beer that you'll get. But yeah. It's, it's, this one isn't really what you would expect of a craft beer at all. I mean, it's kind of it's very mild flavoured. It doesn't have anything that really sticks out about it. I would say, um, the mouthfeel is quite light bodied. It's quite well carbonated, and you do get that at the front of the tongue. That kind of promotes the. Uh, it kind of brings out the the hoppy part of the beer a little bit more. But overall, it's a very lightly hopped one. It's only slightly bitter and has just a little bit of dry character. But I mean, overall. As I said, there's really nothing that makes this one stand out as a craft, as a as a good craft beer, in my opinion. It just, for me, it just doesn't cut it. It's saying it's an Australian pale ale and it's an award-winning one, but for me, in terms of some of the beer, some of the beer you can get out here in Australia is fantastic. But for this one to have won an award based on that, it's it, to me it doesn't make sense that it's won these awards and there's so much a uh, better beer out there. This is a very very mild beer and it's one of the most mild ones. I've actually reviewed on here, but I don't want to kind of tarnish the brewery with a bad brush, if you like. I'll try their other beers and see how I get on with that. Maybe this one just isn't to my taste. You know, I always say this in my reviews that beer is subjective, but I think this one is a very, very mild beer. And I would, I would say if you want a beer that's full in flavour, you know, this don't go for this one. Maybe try one of their other beers. The one, the red label one, the IPA, I've heard is a very nice beer and quite a nice IPA style, so maybe give that one a check out, but I, in honesty, I don't think I can really recommend this one. But anyway, 
Um, it's uh, my first negative review for a little bit for a while actually, but um, nonetheless, I hope you've enjoyed the review and found it informative. Please let me know your own thoughts on this beer, as always, if you do happen to have tried it yourself. And please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Those of you who are actually watching in the state of South Australia, I'd really appreciate some recommendations from your state of some nice beers to keep an eye out for. I really, I, I don't really know any beers from South Australia other than the mass-produced ones, so please comment if you're watching from South Australia and let me know your own thoughts on, uh, on, on some good beer to pick up. And please like, subscribe, share all the usual YouTube stuff. I hope you're enjoying these Australian beer reviews that I'm doing for you and I will catch you soon with my next in this series. Cheers.